How to add Google Analytics to Google Sites Easy Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add Google Analytics to your Google Sites. So, let's get started. First of all, what you can do is, you can open up your Google Sites. All you need to do is just go to sites.google.com and you will get right here. We know that Google Sites is provided by Google and it allows us to create a professional website for free. So I'm going to go ahead and open a website that I was working on. It's just a test website that I have and I'll show you how to add Google Analytics into it. So if you're looking to track your website, if you want to check your conversions, if you want to check your traffic and you want to add Google Analytics to a website. Uh, what is Google Analytics? Well, it's another tool by Google. Google Analytics gives you the free tools you need to analyze data for your business in one place. You will be able to check your performance, your site's performance and much more. So you can also go to analytics.google.com. Once you have a website on Google Sites, you need to add Google Analytics into it. So uh, connecting uh, Google Analytics to Google Site is really easy. All you need to do is just navigate to the settings right here. Click on settings and you will find navigation, brand images, custom domains and analytics right here. This is Google Analytics and you can see connect your site to a Google Analytics account to get your insights and metrics on usage. All you need to do is just enter your Google Analytics tracking or measurement ID right here and your Google Analytics will be connected to your Google Sites. Now, the complicated thing is how to get this measurement ID, where to find the tracking. So for that, I'm going to show you how to get started with Google Analytics. Once you get right here, you're going to click on start measuring and it will take you right here. First of all, we have account setup. So you need to enter your account name here. I'm going to go ahead and enter right here. Moving on, we have account data sharing settings, modeling contributors and business insights, technical support, like whatever you expect Google Analytics to do for your website, you're going to check these options. Moving on, we're going to click on next. Then you have to create a Google Analytics for property to measure your web and app data. So you have to enter your property name here. This is going to be the website that you have and what you can do is with Google Sites because we can publish a website for free, we do get our own website domain for free and we can get our URL. So what you can do is you can click on the share as well from here to get the link or what you can do is you can publish your website first All right here, click on publish and you just have to create a web address. You can see, click on publish and now we have our link. You can see publish options, review changes, and publish and others. So now it actually gives us a link for the website. Now we have our own uh, URL. So you're going to go ahead and just copy and paste it right here. Or you can also enter your uh, web or app data here. You can see we also get the link option. Click right here, copy link, get back to your analytics, and you're going to paste it. Moving on, you have to select uh, your time zone and your currency. In currency, I'm going to change it quickly to USD. There it is. Once you're done, you're going to click on next. Moving on, you have to select your category for your analytics. You have to give your business details. Industry. So in industry, I have a website related to computer and softwares so what i can do is i can either go with internet and telecom and then we have like computers and electronics let's go with this one business it's a small business so i'm going to select this one you will select according to you if you have large you can select this one if you are very large i'm going to go with small how do you intend to use google analytics with your business now this is important what you will be doing so we have a lot of options measure customer engagement with my site or app yes Optimize my site or app experience. Yes. Measure data across multiple devices or platforms. Optimize my advertising cost. Increase my conversions. Measure content monetization. Analyze my online sales. If you do sales, then you can go with this one. I do not have sales. So I'm not going to do this. Measure app installs. If you have an app, you're going to use this option. Lead generation. And you can even select others. So I'm going with all of these options. Then you're just going to click on create. Once you click on create, then you're going to click I accept terms and conditions right here. I accept. And there you go. You have your own analytics account. 
So we have our own analytics account. You can see this is what it looks like. We have our own admin. We have our platforms, web or apps. And then we have our user, then all of these settings. Now here we will get our own tracking or the measurement ID. And now inside our Google Analytics, to get the measurement ID, you're going to click on choose a platform and we're going to select web because we are going to be tracking a website. Set up your web stream. You have to enter your website URL. So for this, we're going to get back to our website on Google Sites and we're going to click on link right here. So we have our free published link. Click on copy link right here and get back to your analytics and you're gonna paste your link. So here we have it. But what you guys need to do is, you're gonna remove the HTSS right here because we already have it, you can see. So you're gonna remove that and you're gonna also remove the home and the slash at the end because we just want sites.google.com slash view slash your business name. Then we have to enter our stream name. Again, you're going to enter your website name or the business name that you have. So I'm going to quickly go do that. So this is the name for my website. You can see right here. This is going to be the measuring what we will be measuring with Google Analytics. Once you're done, you will see the create stream option. Click on it and it will show you your web stream details. Here we have stream details. You can see your stream name, stream URL. And we have our measurement ID. So we just need to copy this one right here. Once it's copied, we're going to get back to our Google Analytics. So here, as I showed you, we're going to go to settings, click on analytics, and then we just have to paste our measurement ID that we just copied. So you will enter it here and you can see enable analytics option. Enable this one and Google Analytics will be added to your website. Now it says your analytics is activated. So we can go back to settings again and check. You can see it says enabled analytics. Get back to analytics now and I will be able to now track my website. This is the website that we have. You can see. Let's open it up and it will show me all the data for my website. And if I visit my website here, now all the traffic that I will be getting, the clicks I will be getting on my website, I will be getting all the data right here. And this is how you connect your Google Analytics with your Google Sites. It's really easy to do. I showed you, you just need an, a website on Google Analytics and then you can click on the uh, settings and in settings, you require a measurement ID. And I showed you how to to get it it's really easy you just need an account click on the data streams and add your website this way you can see our google analytics has been connected with our google sites i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel